yes yeah good day everyone uh it's a pity i want to first of all i want to apologize for what happened a while ago so i want to explain why i was on live video a lot of people like this uh whatever he's calling him now he's trying to call again so a lot of people were calling me they keep calling and calling and calling it was sucking the body it was sucking it like a sucking blood so i was kind of wondering if this uh, is obaseki boys or what you know so then i got a door my door i mean the the front door i can hear the bell keep ringing knocking knocking let me go check it before i know it the body was dead when it was dead there was nothing i could do about it i can't save it so i quickly plug it up when i plug it up then i turn it off try to turn it back on it wiped everything so however i was kind of glad that everything wiped away because uh, you can see a lot of people were calling in. there was free publicity of a lot of people so i'm kind of happy that that publicity is not going to be on our video anymore you can see a lot of people were calling i was asking who has this number who has that number so anyway let me go straight to the point first of all i want to thank my my people's freedom movement you are the best uh the power of movement cannot be challenged by anyone no one can stop the power of a mega movement as you all know my name is officer clement iranomigo edegbe i repeat my name is mega comrade officer clement iranomigo edegbe i am one of the open leader on a people's freedom movement so as you all know, a couple of days ago, uh, the governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Norgase Obaseki, have unleashed his vampire gang squad on us, both on social media, both physically, both spiritually, and both otherwise. However, I want Governor Norgase Obaseki to understand no matter how many fight no matter how much try is going to try to silence us no one can silence a movement that god have already obtained this is a movement that is going to continue forever and ever no matter how long i last no matter how long anyone stay in this life it's going to continue to grow first of all i want to quickly uh underline this those that are making audio audio i do not want you to stress this into where we are not supposed to go i want this to be focused on the government the corrupt government corrupt government i repeat corrupt government corrupt politician i do not want anyone to make audio i know some i heard some obaseki group are making audio to evolve other entity in order for people to believe that it's us but actually it's not people's freedom movement these are obaseki gang that Obas governor obaseki have paid to come and fight us online and be making an audio to insult our good people of edo state so they will even use my name on it they will even use our movement name on it but I want every brothers and sisters to know these are Obaseki's people. These are the same people who robbed the election for Obaseki. These are the same people who were stealing ball ballot paper. I want you all to know that is not us. It has nothing to do with our movement. And we denounce anybody who go ahead and make unnecessary audio recording. That one is clear. I told you it's going to be better. I want all my people, go ahead. Why I'm doing this, go ahead and share it. Go ahead. Just go ahead, go to your page, click it on your page. Those that have 5,000, like I said, in a few days, I am going to go straight on a people's freedom movement. Hashtag enough is enough page. Then I will be doing my live video over there. Because when I do it over there, no one is going to call me you cannot call on it i'm i'm sure 
you can't do it so when i'm here a lot of people might be calling you know so that is it so i want to go straight to the point i want to call on tony kabaka aka the saddam Hussein of benin the leader of vampire militant i want to call on you i need you to go online the same way you have tarnished my name i want you to go and tell everyone the truth go to the way you do it stay in your house and do it tell them the truth denounce whatever things you have said that you know that is not your value that is the only thing that will solve our problem then after you do that you will join people to make sure crime is eradicated in Benin city let us see you fighting crime let us see you helping one another if you cannot join us to fight crime in benicity you cannot go and man enough enough to go and do another video to to fix yourself and clear my name what you claim that i said with you i never said it so that is the only thing that is going to solve that problem for now i will keep watching in a few days to see what you're going to do a lot of people in america they are carrying fake news all over the way I know that American, some of most especially, there is a union who are corrupt. They are Obaseki brothers. That union is called Edo Union Association, DFW. What they did on Sunday, they used my name to head their meeting. They all know me in Dallas, but they are scared to come to me because I will not. I will make sure I put them in jail one way or the other. Anyone who have committed crime in United States, fraud, they committed a lot of fraud, they will go to jail, and Obaseki will not be here to release them. And if I ever hear any of my name in your mouth, I'm talking to a Doe Union in Dallas Fort Worth. If I hear my name in your mouth, I will file criminal charge against you. You are in America, right here. You will be subject to arrest immediately. You will be a part, a part of that vampire gang. Who have been threatening me. So I want you to know. Save yourself some trouble. Save your family some trouble. You all supported Obaseki. I know it. You those Obaseki who have betrayed Edo people. From the beginning. For because of a mirror. A mirror. Obaseki father. Betrayed our own. The greatest man in Edo. But. I do not blame anyone. I blame. Comrade Ada Oshomule. Oshomule did a very good job, excellent job, impeccable job for four years. The rest three years, he didn't do nothing. But a year to go, he went ahead and tried his best in order to sell Obaseki for us. If not Oshomule, Governor Oshomule, that I myself is proud of, Obaseki that he brought, Obaseki wouldn't have been even a monkey. Not to talk, talk less of, you will be jumping from one tree to another. Who is Obaseki? If Obaseki, Obaseki is book smart. It's not street smart. He has no wisdom of leadership. Obaseki is a snake to Edo people. Obaseki family have been, some of their family, not all of them. There's one, a lot of them that is good. Some of them that is in London, they are my friends. That is the same Obaseki family. To tell your fam Obaseki, God will Obaseki betrayed his own family you know what i'm saying huh? that is the fact obaseki was against obaseki during the gubernatorial gubernatorial election obaseki god will obaseki it is he says it's a it's a black snake you can see him he's quiet you will think he has an innocent appearance but you can see the vampire gas squad on his face but because of this money that he had been embezzling from one private company to another, stealing people's money, individual's money, and enrich himself, people were unable to detect who the really Godwin Obaseki is. Now, when that video cut off, I got an information. Thank God Almighty. People's Freedom Movement, go ahead, share this video. Please, go ahead, put it in your Facebook page. I want a lot of people, nobody know if this video is going to cut off again. 
like the more people that saw it that is how they're going to translate it's going to translate our message to a mega voice like we are governor baseki have single-handedly draw this attention to edo state this attention i am fighting for freedom all over anyone all over the world anyone that has to do with oppression we don't want it i am fighting this fight because I believe when we unite together and stop oppressing one another, stop taking what does not belong to you, Nigeria will be better. My life is good. I have a good life. My family are well to do. Like I stated on the previous video, both my father and my mother's family were up to about 30 in the United States. My uncle here alone, or my, my other family that a lot of people doesn't know, has we have all kind of race in my family we have what they call Africans in nigeria we have what they call black we have what they call african-american we have what they call african so likewise to europe my family are almost 100 not to call it so this fight is not for me it's not to benefit my family but the truth is that every day i got a call from nigeria from everywhere you see some law enforcement officers, Nigeria Army, who are fighting in the northern part of Nigeria, who subject themselves into a bad injury with no fault of their own. I'm helping. It don't matter, 10,000, 15,000, 5,000, 2,000. Obaseki have now single-handedly cut my finances short by making me to leave one job in order for me to be doing this. This is not what I asked for. So, as Obaseki have single-handedly removed food from all my friends' mouth, Obaseki should come out and tell us what you know about the so-called assassination plan against Mega Comrade Clement Iranomigo Edegbe. The more you had, Governor Obaseki, the more the problem will continue to grow. Before this problem grow to where it does not supposed to even touch, I want you to come out. If you have courage, if you are a leader, if you know what is called governor, how to govern, I want you to come out. Because those your what advisor, all they care about is the money they're gonna get. They have no, they don't have your best interest. Because if they do, there's no way you're gonna silence me. I just prove it to you today that if possible for me to make double video in a day, it is possible for me to make three videos. If I want to. Today I have proved it to you. I can make two videos. So let me go straight to the point. I want to ask my brothers in Nigeria, all over Nigeria, those that are complaining of languages or non languages, they use Edo or they use Igbo or they use Yoruba. I want you all to know we are in this fight together. We are fighting for our children. We are fighting for our youth. We are fighting for a better Nigeria and Africa as a whole. The more Nigeria is one of the biggest, largest population country in Africa. I want you to join us. Let us fight this corruption. Let us fight bad leaders. Let us fight whoever who are planned to silence us peacefully. I repeat, peacefully. We are no violent movement. No violent movement. Anything that has to do with violence, we are not a part of it. I want you to join us. Let us join President Mohamed Bouhari to fight against corruption. You can see Governor Obaseki of Edo State have drawn this attention into Benin. Governor Obaseki, his school in America, is a very smart man. He's book smart, but he's not street smart. He's book smart, common sense is not common. You know what I'm saying? When Obaseki talk, he speak good English. Oh, he speak English. He want to be an American. But Obaseki, to tell you how Obaseki is corny. He's a corny man. Obaseki is very corny. Are you going to tell me that the little years he stays in the United States, now you go back to Africa, in Nigeria, you don't know how to speak our own English? I'm asking you, Governor Obaseki. Are you going to tell me now, now you want to Americanize yourself, that for the more past many, many years, you left America. You still don't know how to speak like African or Nigerian. 
Shame on you, Obaseki. You are a disgrace. We are coming uh, for your government. Your government is going to suffer. It's going to suffer in the hands of social media. Not until you begin to do a good road. You can you begin to do what is what you are supposed to do as a governor. Let me make one thing clear. I don't want to forget. This is what Obaseki have done. Obaseki single-handedly injects himself into this problem by lying, by arresting uh, Ubo, Curtis Ubo. That man was protesting peacefully. We don't care whatever he has done previously. We don't care. I don't care. None of my followers care about that. If we look at what he has done previously, you want to judge him by that, what Governor Obaseki have done previously disqualify you to become a governor of Edo State. That is number one. Not to talk of you to lead our state, the great Edo. How can we? Why do we? If not to Shomule, who sell us to you? If not Adawo Shomule, who have done good in Benin? Because of what you have done, at least this is the first time we have seen good things. No matter what that man did, Oshomule did not buy house in Dubai. Oshomule did not buy house in America in six months old. So far, Adams Oshomule, Adams Oshomule went ahead and sow, sow a good seed in his own village. I repeat, Adam Oshomule sowed a good seed in his own community. There is a university. The roads are tired. The university is not in South Africa. The roads were not tied in South Africa. It's not tied in Dubai. It's not tied in Georgia. But I feel for Oshomule because Adam, Adam uh, Godwin Obaseki is going to spoil your record. Our, our great comrade, as governor, if you do not talk to this, this man, this Wayo governor, this GBT governor, this criminal who have unleashed his criminal against our movement, this so-called disgraced governor who have no shame, who could not only six months he has spent in the, in, the, as in the office, six months he has started using his vampire squad against the Edo indigenous. Number one of the gang's vampire squad is the commissioner of police, Edo State Police Commissioner, Commissioner Gwando Abuka. Commissioner Abuka is a criminal. He needs to be brought to justice. He's a criminal covered himself and shield himself under the uniform of Nigerian police force. You are a disgrace to the good police officer in Nigeria. We have not called for you to resign. But so far, we have asked you to leave Edo State. Because of the crime and the atrocity you and Governor Obaseki have committed, you refuse to leave. But let me tell you, our movement is not going to be silent, no matter how many arrests. If this so-called Governor Obaseki can single-handedly call on the arrest of individuals who only protest, only protest, there's no other thing he did. Why can't Governor Obaseki arrest this vampire leader, Tony Kabaka, who went on the media and threatened my own life, threatened the life of my movement, threatened the life of my family, whoever threatened one man's life in our youth, threatened all of us. A fight against one is a fight against all of us. I want to tell you, Governor Obaseki said that he cannot just do that. We should give him time. Do, do we give you time before you arrest Kotisubo? No. Did anybody give you time before you start sending your police commissioner to be robbing our youth in a do state in the name of crime, to fight crime? Those children, those youth university students, those children that managed to buy a 505, they managed to buy Honda Accord, they managed to buy Mercedes because of your jealous. You send your police corrupt com commissioner to unleash all his criminal law enforcement agency in Edo State on them. They started collecting 150,000 naira for a bail. Everybody listen. 150,000 they were collecting. Can you imagine that? That is a governor who studied in the United States. A governor who knows what the freedom freedom peaceful country look like tastes like that is a governor a governor who came he has a matter what they call it in economics and he was the head 
of economic team during Adam Oshomule. I want to ask Governor Obaseki, how many jobs did you create? How many? I will not insult the good people of Edo State. I cannot say we, did, we have eye, we don't see. I cannot say we have ear, we don't hear. I cannot say those that beat us, we go back and reward them. I cannot say that. Because I still love my Edopo. Why? Why, Oshomule? Why did you bring this man, this black snake that is among us? He will eat us and turn around and put his venom on top of our head. Why? Why, Oshomule? Oshobaba, why? After all the good road you tie in Benin, after everything you have done, even though you did not do anything in Oriomo, you didn't do anything. Oriomo have never had a taste of PDP, of APC, zero. Oriomo, nothing for them. For the past 30 years, that Oriomo Edo Abraka Road, Bini Abraka Road, he was tired. I was saying it. Till now, that road, Oriomo population is decreasing. Because anyone that is pregnant, they want to travel to city. For a medical checkup, after following all those gallop, when they get back home, they will have miscarriage. They will go and say, it's Azen, it's witch. Oh, my mother's brother is disturbing me. The only Azen, the only witch we have is our government. That is the only witch I know that we have. They will continue to blame innocent people. They will continue to blame home good home they will name that home as a bad home another example there is one assistant commissioner of police that just died who happens to be my family people continue to blame here and there no let me tell you my old uncle was subject to the removing from station he managed to gather money he doesn't eat bribe they said on the Purim park he sent that money these abuja people bad corrupt police they collected that money my uncle was in pain. He had no other money to pay back that money. He was in pain. He was in pain, crying. To the extent, the family, family, in our family, we are not donating money for assistant commissioner of police to pay debt. Can you imagine that? There are some good police officers. These good police officers, they will suffer to death because our government does not see. So that led to the death of my uncle. That story will come another day. I am not here for myself. That is to tell you how Nigerian police is. Okay, there is this man who has seen something in Benin, Oye. This commissioner of police have no details of the money of Oye. He don't want to leave. That is why he's there. Governor Obaseki, if you don't want to draw attention into Oye, better tell your commissioner to leave ASMP and leave our youth alone. Tell him to go back to corrupt capital, Abuja. Tell him to go and meet the cat and cheetahs government in Abuja. As Governor Obaseki wants to go handily destroy APC in Edo State, we will shout hallelujah for you. We're going to shout hallelujah, we will clap for you. For all those boys that you are bribing, that is trying to get a job for you, I have stated it in the other video. Anyone that insults us online, my, my, my movement member, I want you to go ahead. Take their name, take their picture, store it in your computer. One year to come, two years to come, if they happen to get any appointment in any government, I don't care if it's PDP government or APC government. Oh my God, Jesus. You will not know what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we deal with you peacefully. We're going to make sure you will be fired immediately. Higher and fire. Higher and fire. Because the attention you're going to bring to your government will be so bad that even the governor will tell you you have to leave so whatever you are doing online if you are if you are not with us you are against us because we are the majority if not the so-called majority that they counted in the vote of a do state election obviously would it have been in the governor we don't know yet i don't care i pray for him to win if he win so that we have him to answer to all these questions we're going to ask. But if he doesn't win, it will be better for him. Because he will just go and eat the rest money he has peacefully. And we will leave you alone. But if you win, the best thing you should do is to negotiate. Tell us how many houses you want to have for your governor period time. Tell us how many cars you want to have. 
If not that, you are nobody can eat a do state money or Nigeria money and go free. The world have opened. If the government of Buari alone cannot do it, we have joined him to fight this fight. Because this is causing it. The legislative or the legislator, they want to frustrate Buari government. They want to make sure that Buari did not succeed. If even some of his party members, APC, supported President Buari, I'm not I will not shy away from it. I know whenever I say it, people will insult me. If I say something bad, people will insult me. It's okay. Whenever I see insult online, I laugh over it. I have let my family know this insult is making me stronger. I, President Mohamed Buhari, may God bless you. We want you to live long. Why can't you fish out all these people? Please, if you cannot do it, use your secret people. Send us their name direct. You see all these Nigerian social media in Nigeria. They are afraid. They are afraid. Though. They cannot say anything. Though. If you call on them, they will not do anything. Send it to me. Me. Me, I'm a fearless man. I am a fearless man. Send it to me. I will call them out one by one until they work with you. Let me tell you. Those who do not want his home to be destroyed and you have a glass house, do not throw a stone into another man's glass house. Because when you destroy somebody's house, we're going to throw not only a stone, me and my movement, the lions and tiger combined together, mega, we roll over to your house. And your glass house will be destroyed. And your secrets will be exposed. So I am telling everyone, if you do not want to evolve into this issue, if you cannot put up, then you shut up. Either you put up with it or you shut up. That's it. That is the truth. If you go to social media and start attacking our movement, we will not only collect your profile, collect evidence on you, we will make sure that that job that you are fighting to get, you will never get it. I don't think Governor Obaseki, he wants peace in his administration. He will not want to hire all these criminals, online criminals, those criminals who have committed murder, vampire gang, squad those boys that are online they are not even worth to mention like one of them who are sell Oriomo out Oriomo local government is the most de devastating local government in the whole nigeria the road are bad they have no tv they have no electricity they don't have anything no radio ebs is not working nothing is working but this so-called Oriomo local government one of them that travel use Oriomo money and go to italy he, can you imagine a useless counselor? Como counselor, we are able to steal our money and travel to Italy and come back. Now it's in the gang of what they call it. <laughs> I want a little bit of food. Gang criminals. All your mates are in America now. Your mates are in Europe. The god of Oriomo will continue to haunt you for the rest of your life. You have sell. You have joined Obaseki to be an Oriomo sellout. Obaseki have come to steal our government. Our governor, governor is supposed to come from Oriomo. Obaseki is not from Oriomo, he's from Uwonde. Let Don't let him deceive you. Just the same way these day people brought Oyegu. Do you all remember the time of Oyegu? Oyegu Media, they turn Oyegu to Oyegu Media. They will say Oyegu Media was from a do state. Oyegu Media steal everything he could steal. He took all the money he could take. Do you know what happened? This Oyegu Media is now was the former APC leader. This Oyegu Media is not answering Oyegu Media no more. That man is not answering that name no more. After he ruled Edo State and collect our money in Edo State, now he's claiming data state. That is the same way this Obaseki, Oshomule brought us Obaseki to rob Oriomo from the attack to Oriomo local government. Anyone in Oriomo. Who stand against what I'm saying? The land of Oriomo will never forgive that person. That is the fact. What I'm saying is true too. Do you all remember Oyegu, former governor of Edo State? Now, it's not bearing Oyegu Media no more. It's bearing Oyegu. Okay, that is number one. Our leader, please, Osho Baba, I'm begging you. The university you built, the road you tie, I can criticize it sometimes. 
Sometimes I'll be angry because of the last money you collect when you left the office. If you can use that money, call on your, your boy. I heard that, you know Obaseki is a betrayer. He betrayed everybody. Obaseki, Godwin Obaseki is number one betrayer. He will betray anyone. Even Oshomule that brought Obaseki. Obaseki has betrayed him. Obaseki is a betrayer. He will betray Benin. Let Obaseki come out and tell us why under six months in the office he started buying house all over the world. Dubai, Europe, America, anywhere, Japan, London. Call Obaseki. We want Obaseki to sell that house in Dubai and in Georgia. I don't want to mention exactly this book that he's living because what you know someone shouldn't do to you, don't do it to others. I will keep that as a secret for me. I want you to go immediate effect and sell those houses. Use that money. Call your all governor counterpart. Why our children is dying in Libya. Nigerians are dying in Libya. Edo youth are dying in Libya. Call on all the 36 state govern governor to charter a bus. Call the UAU military to escort that bus to Libya and rescue our children. Rescue our brothers and sisters who are dying. Any dead bodies you can recover, bring it to their family. Please, that is number one thing I want you to do for me to know that you are you want to work. This is the number two. I want to hurry up because this phone it might go dead. All those market that you are collecting money, that internal revenue that all these vampires are fighting, fighting for. Vampire, they are fighting for market revenue, tax revenue. I want you. I want you to call on the Benin traditional rulers, the Eligis. I want you to hand over Ekeoba, Ekeosa, Oba Market, Ekedake, Ogida Market, Oulia Market, uh, whatever market in Benin. If you really know that what I'm saying against you is not true. If you really believe that, if you really believe, you really want us to know that you want to help us, that what your forefather have done by selling, selling us because of a mirror, that you are not here to sell us for Dubai, I want you to call on your legislative branch, the House of Assembly, no one can vote against it. To vote from now on, or during Obaseki administration, I want the Benin traditional rulers to be collecting all the market revenue, in order for them to be able to build a house, for them to drive a good car. Can you imagine? A chief will have a bid on his, on his shirt. His vehicle will die on the road. He will be pushing it. Can you imagine? Why Obaseki? Six months. Six months is buying house in Dubai. A man. He's buying mansion in Georgia. Can you imagine? Then some of his cabinet are going to Yoruba land and be carrying music for six million. Sonny Ade. Why can't they use that six million? Six million and give it to Enigi. Why? Why? These are the same people that are advising you, telling you, don't mind him. Instead of you to spend money for our youth, give them scholarship to go to school. You are spending this on these thugs, these criminals, do nothing. Boys who graduated, they went to school, they claim they graduated, but their greed of money never let them read. Their greed of power, their greed of corruption have devastated their life now they are on social media they have nothing good to do they have nothing better to do for their family oh i feel, oh my god I, I thank god none of them is my family all my family as we are come from i don't want to keep talking about myself as we are come from how many children my mother have how many in overseas how many children my father have how many in overseas ask you will hear it Maybe it's not even up to two or three that is at home. Among almost 20. But instead, you are there waiting for a child card to attack me. 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 Mega comrade. Me. Hey. Me. Tiger and lion. Hey. You are joking. Hey. No one can intimidate me. So that is for one thing. This so-called commissioner of police. Uh, viewers, I want you to pick up a pen while you are sharing it. Let me give you the... The police complaints response number. Nigerian police complaints response number. Those are in Nigeria. 
I want you to listen. I want to help fight the crime. The number is 080-570-0002. I repeat, 080-570-0002. That is one. The second number, 080-570-0002. 0001. The only difference between these two numbers is one and two. This is police compliant respond. When you have any problem, police stop you. I'm talking to the youth. They said I'm not fighting for you, but I want you to store this number in your cell phone. Nigerian youth, most especially Nigeria, the old Nigeria. This is in first headquarter in Abuja. This is not in a do state. This is all over Nigeria. You can just dial this number. These people are very good. These are good police. I spoke with them. They gave me this number. When a policeman stop you, roadblock or anything, in Benin, Aba, Oire, Onicha, Imo, Kano, Sokoto, Lagos, Abia, Umuaya, anywhere, call it Kaduna, Madiguri. If they call, they stop you illegally. That is exactly, no, you have one more zero. It's a one, two, three, four, five, five zero. You have to add five zero. That would be zero, eight, zero, five, seven, you add five zero and two and one when they stop you illegally i repeat illegally i want you to dial that number correct you dial that number you call the collect the police badge collect his name and report when you get home they will give you an email address listen to me student youth they will give you an email address you go and write your complaint tap you are smart on cell phone Type a complaint and send it to Abuja. Trust me. Within one week, that policeman will not have a job. I am telling you. So I want everybody to share this video. So that the good police can see it. So that they will not be a victim of the bad police. Then, here is the control room. If you need any number, the IG number. You need commissioner number. Any state police commissioner. You die this control room. The number is 080-57-000008. You can only add 8 on it. That is the number. I told you when I come back, the video will be more better. Even though a lot of people are sleeping already. I told you tomorrow they will watch it. So, when you can call this number, when you can call all this number, brothers and sisters, you can see police will start hiding. The bad police will start hiding. Those that they are collecting money from. Those that they have collected 150,000. In worry, they collected 300,000. Those people who are my followers or who are in part of our movement, I want you to call this number, collect their email address, file grievances. What I call, that is how they file on us in jail. When, when I'm in jail and I I did anything or treat any criminal the way I'm not supposed to treat them, they will file what they call grievances. The grievances. They will respond. So that, that is why most of the things we do in America, we're very careful. Those that want to criticize me, I want you to watch Lock Up or watch Raw, J Raw. Watch it and see what I go through every day. If I can go through all this criminal, I am trained to protect. To make sure I put people behind bar. To make sure they are not out. All these boys on social media who Governor Obaseki have paid to start attacking us. We're going to make sure that all of you, all the crime you have committed is going to be out. And my, my viewers, my movement member have dig all your pictures out. We will send it to Nigerian Police Command in Abuja. All your pictures. And they will continue to investigate you until you are caught with one of those crimes you have committed. That is number one. I want you to know those that come from Orion or local government, where I come from. I want you to know you know your father have no money. They are struggling to farm. Obaseki have told them to be farming, 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 farming. When Obaseki refused to farm and come to America, instead of Obaseki to educate and give scholarship to our young children, at least 10, 10 scholarship every year or 100 to students to come and study in America, like he studied, like the opportunity he get. If not the white people that your forefather father sell us to, that enrich your family, who know Abaseki? Can Abaseki work to come to America? You study in America. Why didn't you work in America? If you think it's easy to work easy money like I'm doing right now, 
Why, why didn't you work? I'm asking you, those who want to support Obaseki, ask yourself a question. You should be ashamed of yourself. Maybe some of you are older than me, but I have a son. I have a, a, a family. One is already intelligent Air Force officer. The other one is on his way to be a U.S. Navy officer. Tell me if your life is better than my life. As age of Obaseki, I don't think he have any children in the military. In the, in the military, nothing zero because he want to train them how to steal, how to steal. Let me tell you, whatever you do now, I want people to judge me by what my parents does, what my parents have done. I want you all to judge me. My father, everybody knows my father. He's a giver like me. I learned it from my father. My father will go. He's a person that will go to the beer parlor or hang out. He will buy beer for everybody. He's a giver. I, if you are judge me with what my father have done, my promotion will be triple. We also want to judge Obaseki, what his parents have done. My, my, my people, freedom movement, what does Obaseki family did to Edo? What did he do to Edo? Exactly. We all know it. A sellout. A betrayer. Who have betrayed Bini Kidon. That is what Obaseki family is. Not all of them, some are very good. There is one in London, he's a very good friend. There's another one in Nigeria. Even Obaseki is fighting his own family. I understand some family will fight each other, that's fine. It happens in everybody's family. But this Obaseki, he took the highest blood of that betraying blood in him. That blood, it, nobody can break, break it. It's in Obaseki's blood. So that is number one. And he will betray all those cabinets. That is the truth. So, I wonder, that one is gone. Then, let me go to the next one. People that is saying, I have agenda. I cannot even win a counselor. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. If I use pure water to contest in Nigeria, I will win. Pure water. Let's just call it pure water party. I will win. I will win anybody that I've served in a do state. I will win all of them. Don't forget. As governor Oshomule was a comrade, a labor leader, a labor leader, a comrade, right? He turned out to be a governor and he worked for four years. Very good. Let us give respect to where respect belongs. Don't forget, Nancy Mandela was a freedom fighter. Where, where did he end up? A president. How does President Nancy Mandela end up? After all the jails, after the prison suffered, God protect him. People's prayer protect him. Nelson Mandela ended up being South Africa president. During the time of Nelson Mandela, there was no xenophobia. There was, it was not in public. There was no police brutality in South Africa, South Africa in public. But when a great man go on, what happened? They started killing our brothers and sisters. This so called some useless senator who want to go to South Africa to do what? To go and do what? I want you, anybody out of the old Nigeria, Please, oh, I see someone sending me a message right now. I understand viewers that are from Senegal. Please, I'm sorry I'm not talking about Africa, but I promise I will talk about it as soon as I can. I want to personally attack all this problem in Nigeria. Please, 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 please. Uh, so that is aside. I am a mega comrade who is leading movement. Freedom's movement, people's freedom movement. Hashtag enough is enough. All over the world. Specifically, Africa. Corruption. Corruption, oppression, xenophobia. Government phobia. Policeman phobia. Justice phobia. Whatever you call it. Nigerian justice is no more justice. I don't want to talk about it, but I want them to correct themselves. I want to correct myself because what they did in Edo State so far is bad. What they are doing right now so far is bad. I have heard and a lot of information. I want to thank all brothers and sisters all over the world who have made this journey a successful journey. No matter how they will try to silence us, they will never, su they will never survive and they will never succeed. I heard that Governor Obaseki have sent some squad to Lagos Airport. They said they should just wait for me at the airport. That is what a Edo Association, Edo Association in Dallas Fort was said in their union. So if Obaseki know he did not send them to Brokasis, he should call an Edo Association Dallas Fort Ward. 
they are the one that is carrying the fake rumors. So if Baba Zeki knows he has no hand in it, before I file another charge. So this is my ticket. I want to show everybody. You see my name on it. I already purchased a ticket. Nobody can bully me. You see it. And this is how much I paid on it. I want to show everyone. Where is it? This is the total amount right here. I don't want to touch it. You can see it right here. If anyone can see it, you can see it. So the total amount I pay on this ticket is $2,200. Uh, $2,200. It's a business class. That is it. So that is what I pay. And the airline, yeah, I don't want to mention the airline. It's okay. Uh, so, but the airline is good. And I'm leaving uh, April. So, I want Obaseki to know that I am not scared of him. I am not scared of any gang you want to bring. Because I want you to create problem on your head. I want you to use my blood to make peace and let corruption die in Nigeria. I want you to remember when one group killed an innocent woman in Benin, I don't know how it happened. I don't want to lie. What did our SIG did in Abuja? He unleashed in Benin City. A lot of innocent people suffer it. A lot of businesses suffer it in Benin. In the moment, my leg scratched me, pain. You will see it. Not only your government, Nigerian government, will pay for it. I am telling you, not only a those state. <laughs> you are playing with fire. You have no idea who you want to deal with. I have zero crime. Let me tell you, all those Americans that they are killing Nigeria, some of them committed crime here. Their family will say, oh, we don't want problem. We don't want to litigate the issue because they know they have committed one fraud or another. Me, I have zero. The litigation will go on. The case will go on. He will draw you. He will seek your government. He will continue to affect a lot of people because I am a clean man. Those that are in Dallas, the same Dallas I am, come and challenge me. You see me every day. Why are you going to the union? You are hiding. Is it not the same union at Dismato? The same union that was corrupt. You people are owing me money. The money I paid in that I don't you know. You people have not paid me. You are owing me money, including Edonua. They are all owing me. If any of this union think I'm owing them, come out in public. Make a video. Come and tell me. That is exactly nonsense. Nonsense. The same people who we are stealing our money to be opening up a home head. I will make sure that FBI start investigating all your, all your medical equipment or home head that you people have used as a fraud and finance Obaseki governor, gov governor election. I will make sure you people go to jail and I will be feeding you food in the jail. That is the same jail I will work. I will come there like Dallas County Sheriff. My friends are all there. We work together in state jail. I don't want to make sure where I work. That is none of anybody's business. I will continue to make sure all my brothers and sisters, who is a detention officer, correctional officer, make sure they serve you a bad food. If they gave you one chicken, they will cut it half. You don't know me. <laughs> Try and see. You cannot change your life again. Your record will be destroyed. There's no way America, once you make one bad mistake, it will stick with you. You can't change it. So that is why I am more powerful than you people. I have a clear record, zero. Nonsense. Let me go straight to the point. I want to appeal to President Mohamed Bouhari, please, I am begging you. You are the APC leader right now. I want you to call on Governor Nogerase or Baseki of Edo State. I want you to tell him to come and explain why only six months in the office. His, pay, his govern, governor, uh, whatever they call it, governor case is still in the court. Why Obaseki is buying house left and right, left and right, left and right. When you, the president of Nigeria, the old Nigeria, <laughs> have no, have not bought one house, you are there suffering. They are giving you high blood pressure. I know what you are going through. These people have given me already. But we will continue to manage it. I want you to call on him. Ask Governor Obaseki why you want to destroy APC in Edo State. If this leader in Edo State, they are looking for their pocket, they cannot talk. They are scared. They are behaving like, oh, we don't want to talk. Who talked to a governor? You are not a good governor to us until you continue to respect our leaders. If you are respecting our leader, Governor Obaseki, why will you go and buy a house in Dubai? What concern Benin City and Dubai? Huh? Why will you come to Georgia and buy a house in Georgia? What concern Georgia and Edo State? Eh? I want those Igbos, Yorubas, Aounsas, uh, Urobos, Ishakiri, Ghana, Wherever you are, South Africa, anywhere, the good one. 
wherever you are in Africa, I want you to listen to my video. I want you to go and inspire yourself. I cannot speak for everywhere. Inspire yourself. Go ahead and choose a leader. Call on me. I will give you a franchise. If you have a movement already on the ground that is not functionable, that this Nigerian police or Ghana police have suppressed, I want you to call me. I will give you a legal advice. How you can do it, we will franchise it for you. Every time you want to hold a rally or protesting, I will call on our member. We will join you. One by one, we will hold on together. The reason why all these people have been succeeding, because when they carry one, we will let that one roast like a chicken. We will let it roast like in the bar. This court is we are not going to allow it to happen. So first of all, I'm going to call on him. Call on John Wagi. He was in my video a while ago, but I know he might want to go to sleep. I'm going to call on him right now and see if he's sleeping already. But if he's not, I'll make sure that I got him online. Before I continue to talk about the commissioner of police, he shouldn't think he will run away. He cannot run away, mostly Benin. That is the fact. I told you this video would be better. Now it's better. So I'm going to go ahead and call uh, Ambassador Dion Osagi uh, to go ahead and uh, keep us an update. He already done it before. Because our movement, we are, nobody is paying us. We can do anything we want to do. We can get up and work 20 hours without thinking of money. But Obaseki cannot pay these people. They cannot stay overnight and be working without no good money. I know them. So I am going to call on this gentleman who has been doing a, a great job. I hope he answers. So that is, that is it. I hope he's not sleeping here, but if he does, that's fine. Okay, I think he's sleeping already. So, however, I'm going to make sure that I put him on a... I think he's tired. He's been walking around. So, we're going to make sure that we're going to put him on, on a live uh, on a Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be on our video. We're going to put him, whatever he's going to tell us, he will tell us. So, that is how we're going to move forward. But so far, let me go back and go to my point. That even gave me more time so that I can talk about what matters. I am calling on the Nigerian government to please, please provide passport in all Nigerian embassy all over the world. There is no booklet. I want the United, uh, Nigerian government to call on the Senate, for the Senate to call on the Minister of Foreign Affairs, to come a Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, to come and give us the reason why our embassy are charging us 500 euro per passport 500 euro even if, if you pay the 500 euro there will be no passport for three months even if you pay the 500 euro there will be no passport until you even go and bribe them they have corrupt every every agency in nigeria so i'm calling on the senate i am calling on all my viewers go ahead if you know any number in nigeria go ahead and inbox it to me any of your legislative, your senators, this man they call Bruce, those that is under his constituency, I need his number. He's a good man. I heard about he's doing a very good job. I I try to create time to watch his video, and he's doing a great job. So let's go back to Governor Baseki. He has sent his boy to attack us. Let us tell them that they inspire us to talk more about him. Governor Obaseki, he saw our children die in Mediterranean Sea, dying in Libya. Dying in China, dying in Malaysia, dying in South Africa on xenophobia. Nigerian government, they saw everything that is happening. African leader, they saw everything that is happening in Libya. They could not combine, but they were rushed to go to Gambia to go and remove that man who were, able, who were in a Yejeje uh, Jame of Gambia. But this uh, so called AU could not, could not join us together and rescue our children. Because they feel those children are not their children. Their children is in America studying. Their children is in London. Our brothers and sisters, those that are in London, or those that are in America, if any of this family are your friends, please just tell them to come and join our union, to come and join our movement. If they did not join our movement and fight against their parents for the corruption their parents is committing in Nigeria, they have no choice but to go back to Africa and go to school. That is what we're going to do. Then, 
Governor Godwin Obaseki have single-handedly take law into his own hand. He said he cannot even do anything about Tony Kabaka because he's been keeping quiet. If you know that Tony Kabaka, a.k.a. Saddam Hussein of Benin, the commander-in-chief of the militant, vampire militant in Benin, if you know Tony Kabaka have never commit any atrocity for you, why are you scared to arrest him? Or why are you scared to come out? If you know Tony Kabaka did not do anything for you, come out and tell us. If you know this gang that you put on the social media, they have not committed crime. They are not a killer. Come out. If you know you yourself have not involved in any killing, Governor Obaseki, come out. We are telling you, if you know you are not involved, do, what if you don't have anything to hide, come out. Like me right now, I don't have anything to hide. That is why I'm coming out. You see, those revenue that nobody is collecting now, what are you doing with the money? Number one. What are you doing with the money? The reason why Adam Oshomule put you into this power, I do not know. Because I'm not saying that PDP was better. I didn't say that. Too. But it is better. When you see two snakes, you look one, if one is cobra, or if the other one is just a green snake, at least there is one that you can see that is more, it, it, the green one you can see, but the black one, you cannot see it. Governor Obaseki is a betrayer. Now he has started to rule us like a dictator. He become a dictator. Uh, a dictator. Governor Obaseki can never go in a, can never leave a those state or leave Governor Mansion with a good history. He have dis destroyed his history. Six months in the office, he already start eating. Look at me. The other day, we told him local government. Thanks to Osimbajo, I think President Osimbajo. When they were coming to inspect the oil producing local government, I think President Osimbajo was going to come back and call his cabinet. He was ashamed. He said, please, you need to go and know Auburn, where the oil, where they are really doing it. Obaseki Lake have never stepped into the forest. But the money of oil, Obaseki is enjoying it. The children are enjoying it. I, I told Obaseki the other day, I said, I told his wife to advise her husband, but nobody does. If he would have just released that boy, Kotisubo, there would be no problem. But he continued to start to imprison us one by one. Obaseki went to as he was going to on Oriomo, Abra, Oriomo Road, Benin Abraka Road, the road was so bad, Obaseki himself even said, wow, he never knew that this road is this bad. How can you not know? The chief economist, in those eight years administration, people are sending us message, why can't you give it time? You are a fool. You think you are educated. You are a useless, you went to school without reading. Your head is not correct. You know what I'm saying? Your head is not correct. If you know, you know what you are doing online. How dare you tell us Obaseki is just the sismos? Obaseki has been in power for eight years. Obaseki was a part of the cabinet of Governor Adam Ochomule. If Obaseki learned anything from Ochomule administration, Obaseki would have learned how to govern for four years. He said Obaseki chose to took the greedy will and his greed have led him to this problem. That as I'm sleeping at home every day, thinking about what to say about Obaseki tomorrow. Likewise, you will be thinking, how am I going to silence these people? Now, it's not only me one. You continue to hear audio, left and right. Please, I want you or whoever want to make an audio, focus your attention where the attention is. On Obaseki and those thugs who Obaseki are using to kill us. You know what I'm saying? Obaseki is be killing us. He have killed our children in Libya. Obaseki have killed our children in uh, Malaysia. He have killed Edopo in, uh, in uh, South Africa. If Obaseki, he, he cannot take responsibility of a bad thing that he do, but he want to take responsibility of the good thing that he do. The only good thing Obaseki have done is be able to beat, uh, what they call his name, Pastor Izen Yamu. That is the only good thing. He, whether, whether by Huku, by Kruko, he was able to do it. That is the only good thing he has done for himself. Not TS. Your record will continue to go down as the worst governor of any state in Nigeria. It will continue to go down. As, as I will live, if I die, I will leave a legacy that many, many youth, many children, 
my video will continue to inspire a lot of youth, a lot of children to be able to stand up and fight for what they believe in peacefully, not by carrying a gun, not by carrying AK-47, not by carrying an assault weapon, but by carrying your cell phone or whatever social uh, uh, media that come up on their generation. They will be able to move and say, this is what Mega Comrade Ranomigo have said in his video. As I watch King, Mataluta King video every day, he inspire me. I was in this before I started watching his video. But the more I continue to fight, I started watching Nessie Mandela. I started watching it. It's a pity Adam Oshomile have no video. That is the only one thing. So I want you to know you cannot kill, kill us at all. No. No, you cannot. You cannot. And all these things you have done, as I'm fighting for Edo people, I am fighting for everybody, man, woman, market women. This ticket, they are paying every time, paying, 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 paying. Any market woman, I want that money to be paid to the Benin traditional rulers. Let them use this money to develop our land. Obaseki do not know route to, to Oben. He do not know route to Iokoriomo. How can someone who does not know road to a place know how to fix it? That is the question. Why would Obaseki be telling commissioner of police, commissioner, uh, what they call his name? Let me go back on him. That, that uh, Abuka, that criminal, commissioner Gwandu Abuka. Why would Obaseki tell him not to leave if that commissioner is not hiding crime for Obaseki? That commissioner is a criminal. I wish they can send it to my own jail in Dallas. Let me teach him how it is when you commit crime in America, how you suffer in the jail. Those boys in the jail or prison, they will use their hand to torture you. You know what I'm saying? I wish they will bring him. So, I want to let everyone know the Governor Obaseki have, was a part of this uh, Okwila Sumit factory. How Edo people, I want you all to listen. If you think I'm saying bad thing, all this boy that is going on social media, how can you defend Okwila Sumay factory that our great ex governor built? Built as, it, as the head of economics, Obaseki. Why didn't Obaseki plead with Oshomule not to sell Okwila? Why? Where do they sell this Okwila? Do you know where the deal was made, Nigeria? How can a property of a do state, the deal will be sealed in Dallas, Texas? That is where the deal was made. My investigator, my whistleblower, have told me, Obaseki, you see that Okwila trouble is going to remain on your administration. You know what I'm saying? Okwila, Sume Factory. Now, that Okwila, Sume Factory, we are not having Dangote. Dangote, we did not have him. We did not say you're wet. May God let you to reach. You are providing job. At least, those that are providing job, we are happy. That is why I love Igminadion. God will continue to bless that man. That is Chief Gabriel Sawaru Igminadion. The Esama of Benikidon. The job that man has created is enough. That is why I am talking of Oshomule. I will not say anything bad anymore. But except, if I hear anything, if you want to join us, you can join us. Oshomule create job by providing a university. But this so Kabaka, let me tell you, those who want to talk to Tony Kabaka, please do not interfere anything into the family. Please, Tony Kabaka is, is in this by himself. Tony Kabaka need to answer to himself. Tony Kabaka have not created one job for any Edo Indian. Tony Kabaka has not created one job. How is Tony paying about 2,000 militants? If you know you are not a member of that militant, you need to leave that group. How is he paying for it? Why can't Tony Kabaka use that money he used to build house to buy two Tukotuke and start transportation business so that people will be driving? Instead of him claiming that he wants to vampire me, want to suck my blood. Why? I want the youth who is following Tony Kabaka to ask him. Why? Obaseki have not created one job in Benin. Obaseki have not created one job. You see why I will not respect him. That is number one. I believe in Oshomule has a good interest of Benin. But that Okwila, Smith factory he sold, 
We want to investigate it. We want a people of Asaki to come out and tell us why he allowed that Sumer factory when it was the chief economist. He know that that Sumer factory is going to benefit us tomorrow. If he know he was going to become a governor, why did Obaseki allow that Okpila Sumer factory to be sold? And those people see you, Sumer is still high. We were told that Okpila Sumer factory, once they renew it, they sell it, it will be good for those state. That Sumer right now they are doing in the those state. My viewers, Ikea have called me. The cement from Edo State, they are selling it in Kenya now. I am telling you. Edo State cement is being sold in Kenya. Edo State cement is being sold in Kenya. We understand that the owner of that Okwila factory have created a mega company in Kenya. But the factory is in Okwila. So, if that cement factory was sold and the cement are not sold in Edo State, how can a cement bag of cement be a lower price. That is my question. Eh? Those useless thugs who are going on social media, roaming around on social media, they don't have no job to do. They have no sense. They, they, they went to school, I don't know. The school they went to master or professor, whatever degree they have, they have no common sense. Idiots, animals, vampires. Watch now. That is number one thing. So, instead of Governor Obaseki, to become advocate of freedom, advocate of free, non-violent movement. Obaseki become advocate of corruption in Nigeria. Obaseki become advocate of Satan. Obaseki become advocate of assassina, assassina, assassin squad. Obaseki become advocate of vampire squad. Governor Obaseki become advocate of thugs. Governor Obaseki become advocate of social media crime. Shame on you. When you hit me one time, go and listen to my video. I will hit you triple. Obaseki, you have destroyed my life. You have single-handedly destroyed my, the life I will use to help people. But let me tell you, it's just for a short time. Very soon, watch. You see what I'm saying? A bag of smith is 2,800 naira. A bag of smith, 2,800 naira. Can you imagine that? An Obaseki is buying house in Dubai. Can you imagine? I want the Enigis who want to support Obaseki. Ask Obaseki what he know about Okmila Sumay factory deal. I want you to ask him what does Obaseki know know about the tax revenue that they are fighting about. Obaseki said he drive all tax revenue people inside. Not knowing that he make deal with them. That they should allow him to win first, let the court decide, settle. That after the court settle, it will on everybody. He's going to raise taxes on market women. Those that have more that go and tell them Obaseki is coming with tax. Obaseki is going to raise taxes on everybody. That is one of the hidden agenda. Obaseki want to tax us and tax us and tax us until he build his own university. That is why Obaseki is fighting to Tane to make sure he, re he retain power. But anyway, so we are giving you a few hours to come out and tell us what you know. Or uh, we continue to blow this whistle on you. We have no weapon to fight you. If you want to work with us, we'll work with you. I want to thank all brothers and sisters all over the world. Please, those are in Europe. Those are Indian. If you know Nigerian embassy cannot help you, I want you to call your family at home. Tell them, give them a reason to support our movement. As we are here now, we are looking for Good, 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 good people. Those that are in Europe, if you have a passport, European passport, anywhere in the world, if you have a passport, contact me. If you know that you have a clean record, you have no felony, contact me. Contact me because we're going to start growing, we're going to start heading the leaders from one country to another. So I want you all to know in very few months, like the lady said, it brought an opinion. We and uh, the executive and uh, some of the generals in Nigeria, all over the world, who are our backup, they don't want to put anything on it. They want to be able to know that we can stand on our own. I want everyone to know, whatever you can contribute to this union, I mean, to this movement, do it. We are one union. We are brother. We are one movement. So those are coming from Kenya, who are in Senegal, who are in Gambia. Oh, the Eritrean people, I want to thank you. From Sumerian people, I want to thank you. 
You have been so helpful to me. Whenever they see me, oh, they keep thanking me. Oh, we watch your video. We watch it. Somalian people are very happy. So I want to let you all know we all are happy too. But I want all my brothers in Nigeria to know because this movement started in America does not mean it's for America. It's for everybody. Every movement in Nigeria, those who watch this video, if you have a movement that the government has suppressed, if you have a structure, structure already, let us know. We will help you to revive it. You know what I'm saying? We will help you to revive it. We will do it. Not financially, but in many ways, we will do it. But those who want to help financially, you say, this is, let me tell you, this is not profit movement. Whatever you give, you give it on your own. We are not going to reward you for what you do. We're going to thank you. If you call on us in a normal team, we will follow you and do it. But for the passport in Italy, those that are in Italy who have no passport, I want you to share this video until you get to President Mohamedou's desk, until you get to all the senator desk. Nigeria have no passport in Italy, in Germany, in London, in uh, Spain. They don't have a booklet. Even the Spanish embassy, they were begging me to even call on, on Nigeria or call on Minister of Foreign Affairs. I'll be saying that man, oh God, that man have given me headache, so many headache. But when I come on video next time, I'm going to give him headache. On Wednesday video, we're going to give Governor Obaseki it a little bit. Let's see what he's going to do. If he's going to release Kotisubo, or if he's going to arrest Tony Kabaka, or if he's going to call on the talks that he unleashed on laws, let us see. But for now, we'll be watching. If we did not see any change, now till Wednesday, as, as, trust me, the next peaceful video is going to be about Obaseki. Trust me. So, so call. Let me tell you, all those letters, you all, whatever they say, blah, 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 I saw it. I don't bug. Nothing. Zero. I don't care. I don't want you to think I've not seen it. Obviously, your time is zero. I just match it. Match it. Match it. I am fighting for everybody, including you, that is sending me rubbish. I'm fighting for you. It's so bad that you're so corrupt. You don't know how to use your hand and walk. You school. Some of you are doctor. You cannot walk. Some of you are engineer. You cannot walk because you did not read properly. Or you concentrate on how to type, on how to speak. But me, I concentrate on strategy. That is what I concentrate on in school. I, when I was in college, I was not interested on anything. I was interested on what I focus on. Criminal. How to, how to bring, how to investigate. Whatever it is. That is what I focus on. How to defend myself. Uh, so when I try to become a tactical officer or a SWAT, that is exactly what I focus on. Uh, so I want you all to know I am happy. I want to thank everybody who has been contributing. Please, Continue to spread the news. Oh, about the money. Somebody saw me today. He gave me $100 for my good job. But I don't know where I keep the $100 for now. He gave it to me. He said he heard on the video that now I have one job instead of two jobs. That is true. He helped me with it. So I want to thank him. Please help me pray for him for giving me that $100. I really appreciate it. We are, like I told you, I know how to beg. When I become a governor or a president, or as I'm a leader and I'm going to beg for money. Anywhere I know we can get money to grow our, our, our movement. Please, anything you know you can do to help us, please let me know. All those people that is be calling me on phone, they will tell me they have something to tell me. I don't want you to be, to be abusing my phone or my whatever line is. Don't abuse it. If you have nothing important to tell me, whatever you want to tell me from now on, put it in audio. Put it in audio. What's up audio? I will listen to it. I listen to a lot of them. Please, don't call me. If you have something that you want to do, there's this gentleman who want to help buy me a computer. I want to thank you. I got your message. So as soon as everything is done, I will still come back and let them know. So I will try and buy a computer right now, but I have not get paid yet. But whatever I do, I do it on budget. I do not overspend myself. I don't want to be corrupt. So that is how everybody should be doing. So I love you all. I'm going to let you all go. Uh, if I miss anything, trust me. When I come back the next time, I'm going to talk about it. So I want you all to know, Governor Obaseki have a bad blood that is in him. And that blood, we are not ready to tolerate it. The Commissioner of Edo State, Commissioner of Edo State, you must go. And when you leave Edo State, don't ever come back to Benin. You're going to walk the walk of shame. You are the worst Commissioner of Edo State we ever see. 
you don't leave office 11 p.m that is when he will leave office he will not allow can you imagine police that work from 6 a.m to 11 p.m how 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 is their life is finished some police officer this man have completely destroyed them he have completely tortured them that is why when they catch our brothers in ring road they don't pity them you see so that is it so i love everybody thank you please pray for me oh pray for me i need your prayer Obaseki and his, uh, um, our enemy, they're going to come with everything they want to come with. But whatever they come with, our God will never let them succeed. All those pastors have escaped me today. The pastors, I will talk about them. If they are not ready to speak out or support us, my next video, I will talk about the pastors. Those things that you all want me to talk about, let me know. The meaningful one, the legal one, I know my boundary, I know where to stop. So that is it. I love you all. Goodbye and thanks everyone. God bless you.